So I am Dr. Schwartz. I am a French oncologist and I wanted to update you about what's going on uh, in France. As you may know, we started our work on cancer metabolism about 20 years ago. Um, we described the simple fact that cancer is a consequence of abnormal glucose metabolism in 2002. Since then, we treated about 20,000 mice in order to find a good uh, treatment to prevent tumor growth. To make a long story short, in 2007, we found a combination of old, inexpensive, and non-toxic drugs which were able to stop a cancer growth in every single tumor in animal mice. Uh, that work was later confirmed by other laboratories. The drugs were lipoic acid and hydroxycitrate. Um, and these uh, drugs can be found on numerous papers. If you inject the mice with lipoic acid and hydroxycitrate, you stop the fermentation, the cells grow normally and do not form tumors anymore. That work, as I mentioned before, had been confirmed by different laboratories, including Gustave Roussy, which is a major laboratory in Paris. Uh, since then, even uh, numerous patients have reported uh, self-treatment using these drugs, often in combination with conventional treatment. What they report is twofold. In slow-growing tumor like prostate cancer or low-grade lymphomas, uh, it ap appears that uh, cancer can be controlled by a combination of ketogenic diet, so low-sugar diet, and uh, lipoic acid and hydroxycitrate with a reasonably long uh, follow-up. For more aggressive tumor like pancreatic cancer or uh, glioblastoma, that sort of treatment is usually not enough. Uh, you notice that the tumor grows slower, but they end up killing the patient not within a few months like usual, but after three or four years. So it appears that modulating the um, tumor metabolism slows down high-grade aggressive tumors, but it's not enough to cure the patient as we uh, want. So we are now trying to proceed and the avenues we are looking at is whether or not you can um, increase the number of mitochondria in tumor cells and that may be possible using chemical treatment and or uh, electromagnetic field. We don't know if that's going to work, but that's a possibility. Uh, you have to know that um, what makes the mitochondria multiply is not something which is known. Uh, so we hope that we'll be able to understand that but that's not something which is done and most probably will not be done within the next few months. And the other idea we have, which may or may not be correct, is to work more on the lipid aspect of the ketogenic diet. As you know, patients treated with the ketogenic diet feel better and ketogenic diet most probably contribute to a slower um, tumor growth. But the precise mechanism is not clearly known. It is to be understood that the cancer cells need lipids to grow. So ketogenic diet may have two different uh, 
e e effect. One, slowing down tumor growth because you decrease the amount of glucose that the tumor uh, can feed upon. And at the same time, uh, it may be uh, dangerous for the cancer cells because as the tumor cannot feed its energy from the glucose, it feeds its energy from the lipids. So we are trying to clarify that point, which may be very important. Thank you. Ok, ça te va Oui, c'était super. C'était super. Alors, compte sur moi pour diffuser ça au maximum. Bon, et tu, et tu me le renvoies vers chez ben, moi. Si tu as un ordinateur, je te donne tout de suite le... Si tu as un lecteur de cartes. Le mail. Non, je n'ai pas de lecteur de cartes. J'ai un ordinateur, évidemment. Bon, mais... ben, ce soir, je viens avec un lecteur de cartes et je le mets sur ton ordinateur. Tu as quoi comme euh, un PC Oui, non, j'ai un Mac, mais qui marche plus très bien. Il faudrait que je le rentre. Ah, D'accord. Ok. Ok. Euh, Est-ce que euh, tu ne penses pas que pour présenter, je pense en France et autres, qu'on on est sur euh, une vidéo où tu dis que, en français, tout ça, que tu expliques pour les, ce qui est ta position en ce qui concerne euh, le devenir du cancer euh. Écoute, là, il va y avoir un truc qui va sortir. Oui. Euh, <coughs> 